So let's begin the session with the three time Om along with Shanti. Come into the sitting posture. Keep your back neck straight or line gently. Close your eyes. Go into your asin. Take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation. Deep, prolonged, slow exhalation. Inhale and exhale with awareness. Now, inhale for the three time Om along with Shanti. Take a deep breath. <coughs> oh. Feel the vibration, feel the sensation. Now join your both palm. Wrap your palm. Place on your eyes. Feel the warmness, very slowly while blinking, looking at your palm, gently open up your eyes with a great smile and say Om Shanti, Om Shanti. So, we, until now we discuss about um, the problems related to the Kapha, problems related to the mind migraine, dementia, Alzheimer, how we can help them, sinus, cold, even normal uh, influenza, these problems if somebody having, how we can, through the basic, you know, this is the general guidelines which can be practiced by everyone. So if you take the precaution and you correct your diet and you practice these things, Dasna, pranayam, pre-practice of the breathing and the uh, meditation and shat karma practice. Things would be sorted out quickly. Okay. Now let's today we're gonna talk about the gastrointestinal problems and the things which is related with your stomach, digestive tract, uh, constipation in digestion, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome disorder. So. Today we're gonna talk about these um, major issues with with most of the people are suffering. So I think all we once in a while we get the indigestion and constipation. We get the and even the today, in the, especially the teenager and the young generation suffering from the IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, the D and the C, constipation and the diarrhea. Is, IBS is a psychosomatic issues. You get the constipation and indigestion frequently and it becomes the nature of your body whenever you get stressed out, whenever you freak out, you become anxious, anxiety. 
you just uh, get these symptoms. You get either indigestion or either you get the constipation. There's a normal constipation and indigestion also. But now the IBS has become like a very common. Okay. And even some people who are lactose intolerance, gluten intolerance. Why they are gluten intolerance and lactose intolerance? Because of uh, the involvement factor play important role. The hybrid food and because food products are now changed they are not remaining organic contaminated so their digestive tract also become sensitive towards those things so we're gonna discuss these issues today how we can help them and how we come out and we can enjoy the varieties of the meal because if you get these problems you have to stop taking the food right and then you have to consume specific uh, diet like if you are gluten intolerance it means you should not be taking any wheat product right you're skipping it uh, so how we can improvise their condition they want to enjoy but how we can improvise their condition so uh, i i hope you are familiar of these conditions these are very normal common problems so now let's talk about the solution for them, okay? So constipation, first let's talk about the constipation and the indigestion. And then I'll talk about the IBS, okay? Which is related with this as well. <coughs> constipation, uh, basically the pitta, if heat of the body is increased, the body, uh, the stool of the body, the waste, uh, would be become hard in your body and it's not easily pass out so in that condition one has to drink the plenty of water yes of course and you have to follow the rules of the taking the water which i talked about in detail copper water yes usha pan kriya morning time remember i talked about it usha pan kriya morning time you have to drink empty stomach copper um, you have to keep the copper bottle and during the night fill that bottle with the auto water and charge that water with the copper is like leaving overnight eight nine hours and drink first thing before going for natural cause first thing one should do it doesn't matter what issues you are having uh, it should be done by everybody i talked about already but again, I'm explaining it's work wonder for the especially people who are suffering for um, acute constipation. Okay, so uh, do it. it, it will help you out. So it's going to help for the other condition as well, but it's very really best if you take the start taking the water and forever. Uh, three months, uh, you can continue taking the copper water and then give the break and take the mud. Uh, clay pot water or silver pot water or gold water if you are rich you can buy these these um, expensive utensils otherwise clay pot copper glassware you can use for uh, storing the water okay and always do not take the water directly from the tap always use uh, don't use the running water and the you know uh, the we right now in modern world we start storing the water in the big tanks the plastic tanks and that how th things are changed so please change these things if you're taking the ground underground water or you are storing the water somewhere else uh, filter it first yes it's become first thing and use that filter water charge with the sunlight charge with the on these utensil okay and then take it use for cooking and use for drinking this improve your digestive fire and so gastrointestinal problems bloating issues even um, farting issues like people who fart a lot because of lots of air go into their body and uh, so it gonna improvise other thing, uh, they do the one mistakes, especially gastrointestinal problems. They eat while talking. So it has to be stopped. These 
uh, there is no way out even if i give you herbs and ayurvedic medicine if you don't change this habit stop you know talking while eating you have to eat when you eat this is very much important because it increases the bloating issues it increases the acidic it increases the acidic level of your body and so your gastrointestinal problem would be increased so one has to it should be implemented for everyone but this should be for people who are specific specially suffering from these issues okay now once you correct it let's talk about what food what spices they can take it and uh, the food uh, especially the spices which improve your digestion that is a garlic ajwain uh, i keep talking about this uh, herb a j w a i n ajwain uh, and uh, garlic yes it also improve your digestion ginger also improve your digestion um then ginger lemon honey also very really work wonder it's a work as a it's a great appetizer so that also you can take before having your meal ginger lemon honey or water you can take it and pure honey i'm talking about here then other spices fennel sheet f e l n e l fennel sheets fennel sheets you can use then uh, coriander leaves you can use it's also good for bay leaves then uh, curry leaves these are for the digestion okay um, then uh, there is a herbal tea you can take after meal after every meal uh, whenever you in take anything take uh, 30 minutes break 30 to 45 minutes break uh, best is 1 hour after 1 hour drink your ginger lemon honey tea you can take basil tea you can take only uh, the fennel sheet tea okay these tea you can add into your diet and and cumin tea yes i forget about the cumin cumin work wonder and especially for the constipation which is because of the pit is increased if you add the cumin in your diet cumin tea you can take cumin spices you can use for making your curry and vegetables and soup this cumin is improve your metabolic rate it's improve your blood circulation it improve it's has rich in minerals and vitamins so please take the cumin and it also pacify it it's neutralize the heat okay so it bring the balance in the all the all the three doshas all the personalities can take the cumin but especially if anybody has even bloating like instant relief you want instead of taking the uh, anti acid tablets and uh, you feel hyper acidity here burning sensation you can uh, make the prepare the cumin tea adding the cumin 1 teaspoon then 1 uh, teaspoon of ajwain and uh, add the taste rock salt according to your taste and boil it properly at least 15 minutes boil it on the low flame and then with the cover lid and cool down and then you can take the lukewarm or you want to take the cool uh, during the summer you want to take the cool uh, room temperature one you can go with that as well it's work wonder it's immediately you know pacify your bloating <coughs> issues so <coughs> these spices work wonder for even relieving the constipation and even for the indigestion as well okay but yes uh, there are two things we we have to take care about it if you have constipation and indigestion Uh, like sometimes you have constipation sometimes you get indigestion so spices remain same but diet going to be change so if you have constipation you can take all the green uh, vegetables pumpkin you think uh, you can take and then um, uh, carrot you can take beetroot you can take salad raw raw should be given to them or slightly steamed pumpkin soup is very good all varieties of the pumpkin they can take it 
if they want to take this salt salad is work you know wonderful because it's rich in the fiber and fiber um, flush it out it's help to give you motion so uh, you can do this thing um, take your favorite salad onion you can take garlic uh, not garlic but onion salad you can take and then uh, all the uh, seasonal vegetables which is available radish cucumber these things all the varieties of the cucumber you can take jacunis this thing you can take okay but if you get indigestion you should not be taking the rich fiber diet okay in that time you have to stop that time steam make it steam um, little bit boil it and then take it chew properly so it help you for your body to digest properly and these things are rich in water level water level is very high in these vegetables so it's very good for your body it's also work for the ibs even a table bowel syndrome issues and uh, even constipation in digestion blotting but whenever you get the blot blotting issues that time please don't um, take raw things take the steam salad in digestion and blotting steam constipation um, increase the fiber in your diet uh green leafy vegetables yes they can take it and but yes a uh, little bit warm spices they have to avoid it especially in digestion and constipation no chilies no um completely boycott the chilies even the pepper they have to completely boycott fried completely out of question okay um the spices it these spices are best okay they can take it turmeric too much garlic also they cannot take because again it increase the heat of the body garlic is hot in the nature and uh, but little bit cold spices or neutral spices like bay leaf curry leaf these spices work wonderful for them okay. little bit garlic they can add not too much if too much heat they experience so that time you can stop taking the garlic that also you can do then methi leaves also m e t h i methi i'll write it down for you methi leaves so methi leaves uh, also good for that you can soak under the water <clears throat> and then they become sprouted so when they become sprouted you can chew properly okay and you can not don't throw the water drink the water as well it also work wonder for your digestion and uh, even if you feel weakness or uh, dizziness that also gonna work for you methi is good for what methi is good for digestion thank you so um uh, yes so these things uh, you can get easily from the market and uh, now come to the other things uh, once you take in these things uh, make sure in digestion and constipation you have to figure out even in the ibs whenever you have the symptoms of the indigestion you have to start taking the boiled things if you get the symptoms of the constipation come to the raw things that's you have to change it okay now other things what you can do about it um is very much important that uh, plenty of the water should be given in both condition water level should be maintained and uh, not plain water you can infuse your drink you can add the basil leaves 
you can add the mint leaves into your glass bottle keep into the sunlight and sometime you can use the vegetables and the fruit skins put into the water keep it into the sunlight and then drink that fused water it help you all the vegetables all the fruits you can put into the water keep it into the sunlight the water would be charged with the sun energy and it has the nutrition which is uh, found in the vegetables and the plants uh, vegetables and the even leaves so the water has the quality water is very wonderful element it has the quality whatever you put inside it it mix with it you put the even material into it it gonna mix copper coin you put silver coin you put gold coin you put it has the gold uh, you know that we, we call gold charge water silver charge water so these water you can charge but yes gold is hot in nature silver is cold in nature so according to the season during the winter one can take gold charge water and during the summer they can take the silver charge water okay so coin you can buy and you can put it even you the jewelry whatever but uh, it has to be pure okay so that also you can do water level should be uh, maintained if you have these issues then uh, another product which is ayurveda talks about for improving the digestion uh, especially the people who are just uh, cannot digest anything even not uh, they get the back to back in digestion issues diarrhea symptoms and they cannot eat anything anything and the body is flushed out or you get the infection or something that specific time butter milk should, should be given to them butter milk butter milk we call chach this is the english name butter milk how they prepare they use the yogurt i hope you know the yogurt curd uh, yogurt and curd you a uh, homely fresh yogurt especially buffalo or the cow milk we use and then we put the water so like um, if you are using um, for example 250 grams of the yogurt you can put um, at least uh, 1000 ml water into it okay 1000 ml water 1000 liter water if you are mi- mixing it it's like to it's like 2 um, liter water sorry not too much uh, 100 ml so 1 liter 2 liter water you can put into it that much you know thick uh, that much uh, thin it has to be it has to be very smooth okay not thick it has to be smooth and liquid very liquid and add the cumin astrophotida and uh, you can add a little bit pinch of rock salt into it and then drink it any kind of indigestion you are having even bacterial infection you get colitis colitis have you heard about colitis it's like a deadly fatal disease of your gut your small intestine inflamed and started bleeding these people cannot eat anything whenever they eat they have to flush it out and whole digestive tract get disturbed and this is a extreme level aggravated condition so even this condition ayurveda say that one has to drink the butter milk it's that much effective but uh, i totally understand packets are available so don't go for it so if you uh, get the local one then this remedy would be effective otherwise you would be taking the pesticide in your diet so packet i say packet your good and cut is strictly no okay um other remedies they can use uh, the kombucha drinks kombucha is now very popular so instead of butter milk second best option first is the butter milk second best option is the kombucha kombucha is giving you the good pro- probiotic bacteria to your gut and help you for assimilation of the food okay so these 
two drinks one can take it even they are sick and they cannot eat these drinks they can take it i i don't talked about um, i don't want to promote the synthetic uh, probiotic capsules and these things i think uh, better than you have to take from the food natural way fragmentation food if you get the good bacteria that is better way to maintain the health but if you don't have any options then choose the this would be the last one okay you can take the probiotic capsules as well so um now when you did these things um soups and the porridges light porridges should be consumed i think this is very uh, common everybody know about it no non veg okay non veg even don't think about it it's very much difficult for you uh, i heard some in the culture whenever you get indigestion cold or flu or other problems they give you chicken soup or something like that so ayurved doesn't talk about that things so you shouldn't be taking those things okay it's like you required more energy to ha but vegetable soups spinach soup and uh, potato soups also you can take it and uh, rice uh, rice considered to be a very good rice is rich in vitamin b and it has the you know other minerals and easily soluble in the water easily digested so fresh rice you can buy from the market black rice brown rice white rice but unpolished rice not polished one okay unpolished unpolished rice moong we call khichdi so khichdi is the best uh, option if you want to give go into the solid item khichdi how you going to prepare mm, khichdi means porridge okay the porridge salty porridge so uh you can add 100 grams of the rice any form of the rice you can take and then take the 100 grams of the green moong moong pulse moong lentils i keep talking about it okay with the skin and quick uh, you have to properly cook it in the uh, clay pot use the clay pot and add these spices you can add um the cumin you can add ajwain bay leaves curry leaves these enhancing the flavor of it and then add the rock salt into it and yes i always say that add little bit ghee on the top but if you don't get the ghee you can add on the top coconut virgin coconut virgin olive oil little bit not too much little bit and enjoy this porridge this is very soothing uh, one week if you have acquired condition one week you can follow this routine if you get the colitis and long term you are having the ibs it will take time so you have to uh, continue this diet for i think at least 4 month or 5 month and then slowly gradually juices uh, one should take it and juice fruit juices because fiber should not be given especially in digestion okay so juice again hand machine you have to use for taking out the juice so pomegranate juice very good for in digestion and even in the constipation if you have constipation take the whole food if in digestion symptoms take the juice of it okay and again add the cumin a uh, roasted cumin powder you can add on the top and rock salt it easily gonna digest with it so juices you can take um uh, oranges all the varieties of the oranges you can take juice again and then all the fruits uh should be given to them papaya like papaya is good for the constipation but not in the in digestion time you should be taking the papaya to pomegranate uh all the varieties of the oranges which is rich in the water that um, but that juice you can give it to the body in in digestion time and the and same things you can for constipation you can take all the fruits all the vegetables okay now uh, come to uh, this is the diet part 
then come to the other things uh, how we can you know um, when they are eating so chapatis and these things would be heavy but observe your symptoms if you feel okay then switch to the greens otherwise don't take the greens instead of taking the greens you can take the water whatever greens you are taking um, soaked under the water 8 9 hours and uh, take the water and then make the soup out of it that water is full of rich in the uh, it it gonna carry the nutrition of the grains that you can use it sprouts would be very heavy if you taking the raw one so you can mash it you can make the dough out of it and you can make porridge out of it like everything which is cooked not giving too much pressure for digestion so that you can take okay but no bread no packets no refined things completely stop anything which is you know increase the symptoms it gonna inflamed so especially the uh, acid regulator which is found in the most of the packets which enhance the taste which in which give the beautiful colors to the food items these are killing you slowly it's a slow poison and that's why people doesn't know why they get the indigestion why they having the constipation how they get the ibs so that's also you have to stop there is no other way okay stick to the organic seasonal things very much important now come to the ibs also tiger it has the constipation and indigestion but same with the colitis but it also tiger with the stress so stress is the main cause of giving you the ibs c and ibs d c means constipation d means diarrhea symptoms so uh, how we can help them in that situation you have to you go to the doctor doctor told you don't take the stress don't do these things so in that situation uh, and we don't know how to reduce the stress so through the food changing the hab when you change the habit of taking the food you find yourself these are very sattvic in nature so your energy would be slowly gradually uh, all the energy which make giving you stress or uh, too much you know make you sick you feel like something is stuck and i am not able to breathe shortness of the breath you feel about it whenever you get the stress it also affect your digestion okay so in that situation food gonna help you to reduce that energy in your body so if you corrected these things and um, taking for longer period of time the benefit would be 100% you will get the benefit now one rule which they have to follow doesn't matter what issues they have before eating before eating they have to practice one abdominal breathing okay abdominal breathing more they do more their digestive tract would be work effectively because major organs are located in your abdominal region pancreatic system your liver your your kidney the whole area okay is everything is located in your stomach your small intestine large intestine is a part of your abdominal part so abdominal breathing not only working on the organs but is providing increasing the blood circulation around that area and so these function get toned is slightly get toned and then they they if you increase the blood circulation it means you are giving more oxygen to them and then um, they work efficient way they work wonderful way so any whenever you eat anything just 15 to 15 minute at least 15 minute if you can do more practice that's work good 15 minutes one has to practice abdominal breathing before eating anything and then eat whatever you want to eat but yeah stick to this thing okay uh, so even apple you are going to eat so make sure you eat before eating do the practice of 
lap down your breathing and see the complete change another breathing which they can continue that is a right nostril breathing inhale through the right and exhale through the left inhale through the right and exhale through the left this breathing also done sh should be done before eating so 10 to 15 minutes again give at least 30 minutes you are giving to yourself to calm down yourself relaxing yourself relaxing all your organs muscles involuntary muscles so they are ready for food because stress is the one reason I talked about it and immediately to reduce the stress these two practice gonna work wonder and then you properly the food your body is prepared for digestion and then even you are eating right nostril breathing you have to inhale through the right and exhale through the left okay so right nostril is the pingla left nostril is the ira so yeah but in pranayama they say uh you should always go to the left to cool down the body first before you heat it up why do you heat it up first and then you cool it down uh, understand michelle mm -hmm. that practice is different practice okay this practice we are doing for the before eating this is the totally different practice. We require the energy for to digest the food. And when you're doing the right nostril breathing, you are in directly working on your jataragni, the digestifier. And we don't require to pacify. We require to increase the fire. And same time, whenever you do the breathing, this breathing, you we are not talking about the cooling down the system or to relax our body. We are talking about how our Agni would be uh, working, okay? So that's directly connected with the right nostril. That practice, pranayam practice, which you are talking about, that is a different practice. Clear? How many rounds from right to left? Uh, I talked about, uh, you cannot count about it. Just practice 10 to 15 minutes, okay? 10 to 15. If you get tired, take the break. Take the, start doing the abdominal breathing. You, you can mix both breathing even. Whenever you get tired, like you are using the hands, so stop and do the abdominal breathing. Again, when your hands become okay, then again start practice it. So at least 10 to 15 minutes you have to do before eating. This and abdominal breathing go. Clear? Okay. Now uh, come to the what kind of uh, asana should be given to them. As you know about it, uh, that their core muscles, core muscles, anything which is related with the core uh, and your back, okay, lower lumbar region and core, it's is work together. It's whenever you're working on the core, you are working on your uh, lower lumbar. You also activating your lower lumbar muscles. And whenever you are working on your low lumbar muscles, you are activating your core muscles. So these two parts of the body should be involved. Any asan which is working on your core muscles like boat posture, boat posture of the supine and boat posture of the prone position, variation of the all the boat posture are very effective to strengthening your core muscles and your abdominal, lower abdominal and upper abdominal part. So both version one has to do, okay, both. Then wheel, wheel also good for increasing your core strength. That also do, you can practice. And the arm balancing posture also very, but yes, it's too early. It's advanced version. Um, because whenever you do the arm balancing, you require the core strength. But um, you have to observe the students. If they are not ready, don't force them because I keep talking about the asanas practice should be easy. It has to be very simple for them. Otherwise, instead of giving the benefit, you are breaking their body parts. So please don't do those things, those mistakes. You have to take care, very much focus. Let it be, we don't care about what other world is going after it. They are practicing the very fast flow and which is very eye-catching, which is after practice you sweat a lot. No, we don't want to do those things. 
we have to provide the therapeutic acid for them okay so core anything which is core muscles are indulged and okay thank you eva bye bye take care we we have the core muscles are required so strengthen the core muscles so whenever you get the time and please include make the sequence which uh, include your uh, core muscles and your low lumbar muscles and other postures are cobra posture and ustrasan camel posture these are the strengthening your core and then halasan uh, the plow uh, posture plow asan these posture you can make the sequence out of it then um, after these asanas and the sun salutation yes they can practice the sun salutation also but later on okay first make the sequence if you're making the sequence like you are teaching the vinyasa make sure it shouldn't be fast so along with the asanas uh, sun salutation you can also include the core posture into that so it become the flow okay and it has to be gentle it has to be very very gentle and in give the hold to them according to their capability 2 second 3 second 5 second don't force them eventually increase every day 1 1 second they can do the practice now this is the about the asanas now come to the other practice shat karma practice shat karma cleansing practice I, as i keep talking about please learn this shat karma shat karma otherwise go to the ayurvedic doctor they will clean your whole tract especially in the constipation whenever there is a constipation any kind of they give you enema enema they uh, you know um, inject through your anal the herbal water lukewarm herbal water they inject it and then you get they flush it out the pressure is increased in your anal region and then it flushes out the all the mul all the waste through your anal so it's clean your anal region thoroughly so um, that is called enema so this also a very effective tool to clean very effective for especially quick relief from the constipation that practice also you can do now uh, but for indigestion no indigestion you shouldn't be practicing these things okay for indigestion they have to take um we especially in ayurvedic center they do they give the pad the cold pad especially when you get the bloating issues hyper acidity issues and you feel like of so much heat is going on so they place they use the piece of the cotton a thick cotton okay musk cot cotton um, and they wrap it's make the you know they make the thick brick of that piece and they dip into the cold water and then keep around your belly and then keep around your forehead and the neck these areas would be covered and same thing we do whenever the people get the fever okay whenever we get the fever and uh, most of the people they take the paracetamol but it's very dangerous for your liver and the kidney and even the one tablet because that time the body is healing itself they are fighting and heat is the response that fight is going on in your body so to immediately don't take the tablets do this treatment you can do at your home this track these tricks help you so even you get the fever or you get the indigestion immediately to bring the relief use the piece of the if you don't get the piece of cotton use the uh, any you know uh, cotton bed sheet soak under the cold water wrap around your belly then use the handkerchief and you can wrap around your forehead and hair and you can use the cotton um and there is a cotton you know available med uh, where we wrap around our wound that cotton also you can use so these tricks help you 
Now, shatkarmas, yes, all the shatkarmas are wonderful to even improvising the your digestive tract function. But uh, in digestion, we just prescribe the jal neti, neti kriyas, because it work for relieving the stress also. So today is till now. Tomorrow we're gonna talk more about the other part. Till now, any questions here? The asanas and the diet part. The last one you were talking about, which one, pizza or kappa or this session? Okay, so basically uh, the constipation happen especially because of the heat is increased. So pith would be aggravated in the body, that's why they feel the constipation. Indigestion also happen because of the pith, but there is a vat also be responsible. So they indigestion caused by the two problems. Either it could be the vat or the pith or the both. So in that situation, we give this um, treatment. Okay, that help you. Okay, so if so, what about someone with GERD? Someone with? GERD, have you heard of G GERD, G-E-R-D? Okay, GERD. So could you tell me the symptoms, please, of the GERD? Hold on, let me. Uh, so it's like burning sensation in chest, heartburn, usually after eating, which might be worse at night, chest pain, difficulty swallowing, regurgitation of food, or sour liquid sensation of a lump in your throat. Okay. Uh, coughing, vomiting, mm. sore throat, and hoarseness. Okay, okay. So same thing, they have to follow. Hyperacidity we call, it can be caused by the kapha also, it can be caused by the pith. Kapha also secrete, uh, make you the hyperacidic level. Okay, so if you have these symptoms, the diet which I talked about it, it gonna work. And the treatment which I have given you, it specify it, the heat in the body. Okay, and it bringing the balance between all the three doshas. This treatment, if they follow strictly, the hyper, even the GERD would be cured from the root level. But yes, it will take time. And yes, along with it, they have to practice the Kunjal Kriya, Puking Kriya. And for that, they have to go to the any school or any yoga teacher. They have to find the help. Please not do not learn these things online or other way. You require the proper guidance. Learn that practice, Kunjal Kriya, Otherwise, go to the doctor, Ayurvedic doctor, and this big Ayurvedic center, they have the Virachan Kriya. So, just go to the Ayurvedic doctor. They just take it out these things. They do some certain things, they give you the herbs, and then you puke it. So, it's the if acid is stored in your stomach and somewhere else, you take it out with the water, herbal water, and they give you the anima, and if you Amma is stored in your anal resin and the large intestine, it flushed out from the back. So mouth and the anal part would be clean thoroughly. So, but in yoga, we and yoga therapy, we did the Kunjal Kriya and Shrank Prachalam, which I already talked about it. These practice we introduced. But if you don't have nearby any school who taught you or teacher, please go to the doctors, Ayurvedic doctor or big Ayurvedic center and give your treatment they will prescribe you and then follow this diet that for the instant relief okay for that treatment that's why you have to go to the ayurvedic doctor and the treatment which i am talking about this would be sufficient they feel very quickly that how their body is gonna heal but yes they have to follow everything they cannot like okay once time they can take the sweet or they take the bakery products or they're taking the caffeine rings, no caffeine, no coffee, no cacao, nothing except this, which I just talked about it. Clear? Okay. Okay. So let's end the session with the one time Om and Shanti. <coughs> Keep your back neck straight, align yourself. Gently close your eyes, go into your asana. 
deep inhale and exhale inhale for the own the vibration join your both palm wrap your palm place on your eyes play feel the warmness gently while blinking your opening your eyes with a great smile say om shanti om shanti